Weight gain, foggy brain, feeling cold all the time and fatigue, feeling tired no matter how much you sleep. Any of this sound familiar? Well, maybe you've even been to the doctor and you've got no answer whatsoever. Well, guess what? Today's the day you might finally get those answers because it's time to get real about hypothyroidism. Joining us is a very passionate advocate for hypothyroid disease awareness and treatment, Dr. Derek De Silva. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. All right, so let's talk about hypothyroid thyroidism. It's a huge problem, and I actually thought it was a huge problem for women, but it's actually a huge problem for men as well. Absolutely, absolutely. It is more common in women Correct. than it is in men, but it is a problem that I, I mean, I have quite a few patients uh, that are men that uh, are on thyroid medication. But, you know, 25% of the U.S. population has an underactive thyroid. One in eight women will develop an underactive thyroid. But the problem here is, is that a lot of these people don't even know it. So let's go into Medicine 101 here, okay? Uh, thyroid, why is it so important? Well, I call thyroid the master hormone. It really is the hormone that controls the adrenals, the pituitary, the ovaries in women. All of these things are controlled by the thyroid. Believe it or not, your, col your cholesterol is controlled by your thyroid. Your heart rhythm, how your heart beats, is controlled by your thyroid. So if your thyroid is underactive, all of these things are going to come into play, but I call it, once again, the master hormone. Now, why is hypothyroid disease so hard to diagnose? Well, I think the reason it's so hard to diagnose is because we're looking at testing that we did 60 years ago. You know, and, and I tell my patients this all the time, is if you took your car to a mechanic uh -huh. in the 1960s, what did they do? They opened up the hood, they checked the belts, they looked in, they put a little bit of stuff in the radiator, but that was about it. Well, what happens today? Today what happens is you take your car in and the first thing they do, yeah, they open up the hood. They may not even need to open up the hood. Plug it into a computer. So the technology and the testing is very different and the technology and testing with thyroid problems and thyroid disease has evolved and has evolved greatly. We need to be aware of it. And let's talk about some symptoms because I've heard a lot of people, and it's happened in my family too, you know, uh, I'm gaining weight, I don't know why. That's a huge one, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay, weakness is huge too. Yes, fatigue. What else, what other symptoms do we need to look out for? Well, absolutely weight gain, absolutely fatigue. And, and typically what my patients will come in and say, Dr. De Silva, I'm going to the gym, I'm eating, <laughs> I'm exercising, I'm doing everything, everything. I'm supposed, why am I gaining, gaining weight? weight? And I say to them, well, it could be your thyroid, it could be your hormones. And remember once I said that the thyroid also controls the ovaries and the adrenals. So that's very important. But not only that, we've got fatigue, we've got weight gain, we've got constipation, mm. we've got changes in bowels. The fingers, you're, you're always cold. No matter what you do, no matter how much, how many sweaters you put on, you're always cold. Hair loss. Really? But not only hair loss on the scalp, hair loss at the ends of the eyebrows, hair loss of your lashes, your eyelashes. That is a very common symptom that people don't pay attention to. And also, joint aches, body aches. Wow. All of those things together is likely under, an underactive thyroid. And doctor, if someone is properly diagnosed and they, they now know, how do we fix this? Prescription medication. Nature Thyroid, WP Thyroid is what I use. It's one of my favorites. It's what I use in my practice. I've been using it for years. How does it work? The, what it does is that it gives the body the thyroid hormone it needs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the prescription medications that you take today is T4. The body's got to convert that T4 to T3. But in order to make that conversion, you need certain things in there. Iodine, you need selenium, you may need a little bit of zinc. It, doesn't it make sense that if the active form of thyroid is T3, that I should give you T3? Absolutely. Why put your body through all of that stress that it doesn't need to do? And Nature Thyroid does that. And Nature Thyroid does it, and the WP Thyroid does that. Correct. All right, so recap quickly here. So let's say someone says, okay, I have these symptoms. I've got to get them checked out. Uh, are, are doctors aware of this, or are we becoming a little better aware? I think the doctors are being, becoming more aware of okay. it. You know, we do these conferences, I do a lot of teaching, I do a lot of speaking and lecturing, 
and we educate physicians in this. These are newer technologies. We've got to look at the right test, the free T3, the reverse T3, the free T4. We've got to look at the right thing because if you don't ask the right questions and you don't look at the right things, you're not going to get the right answers. So all of this together is what we do and yes, doctors are becoming more aware. And people are becoming more aware because of people like you today telling us what we need to do if we feel that we are facing this disease. People have to become proactive. If you don't care about your health, nobody else is going to care about it. You have to take responsibility, and there's plenty of information out there to, in order to do that. And what's the website so we can get more information, Dr. GetRealThyroid.com. Thank you so much for being. Really a pleasure to have you. My pleasure. And if you'd like more information, you can go to our website. That's TheBalancingAct.com, or check out that website that the doctor just said. It's GetRealThyroid.com.